Hey, it's Brandy Laffins and Stacy Jones back here for another episode of Flipping Chico. And we are at the cutest, yes, cutest house on Downing Avenue. It's a two bedroom, one bath, and it's close to the park. Built 1950. Yeah. Yeah, I think probably we bought it from the original owners. Um, there's a lot of original features here, mm -hmm. and I just love this neighborhood. A couple years ago, I did a house over on Sierra Vista, and um, it's just a really yeah. terrific neighborhood close to the park. And there's just a lot of folks moving into these neighborhoods and fixing up these older homes, which is really great. Yeah, definitely. Well, we can't wait for you guys to see it. We're going to take you for a little tour of Let's the go. before. So come on in. Welcome to Flipping Chico. I'm Brandi Laffins with the Laffins Real Estate Team. And this is Flipper Chick Stacy Jones. She's been fixing up homes her entire life. For the past six years, this busy mother of three has flipped over 30 homes in Chico. Stacy purchases neglected homes and she and her crew bring them back to life for someone to make it their home. Where do I come in? I help Stacy find the homes and resell them when they're ready for the market. Check out the transformation of these homes on Flipping Chico. So Brandy's left, I'm here on my own, but I think we can do a pretty good job of showing you what this house is all about. It was built in 1950, and it has a lot of the same features as most of the houses from the 50s. It's a square, and what you get is on the left side is a living room, uh, family room, kitchen, and on the right side, two bedrooms and a bathroom. It still has a lot of the original features, the hardwood floors. You can see the original fireplace, it's had a few additions over the years. So like I was talking about on that house on St. Clair, a lot of what we're gonna do is kind of peel back the layers and take it back to its original form. The, a lot of the square footage of this house, it's 1,200 square feet, is in the living room and the kitchen. But right now those spaces are divided. So we're gonna be removing a portion of this wall so that the space can flow more naturally and you can get a lot more use out of it. So come on into the kitchen and check it out. Alpine, you can see that this kitchen is pretty original. This is very similar to my grandmother's kitchen. It has the original formica with the metal banding, um, the original cabinetry. Along the years, people have added different flooring. They even at one point obviously added carpet, which I think all of us know probably isn't the greatest flooring for a kitchen. So all that'll come out and be replaced with new flooring, new cabinetry, new countertops. I do have to say though, I love the older products. When you look at this Formica, it looks pretty dang good for 68 years old. And if I look that good at 68, that's saying something. So come on down. I think you heard Brandy say that this is the house of wallpaper and we're entering the wallpaper zone. So pretty much from here on out, everything's wallpapered. Um, the hallway, it's got the one bathroom, which has the original tile and tub, um, which is really terrific. Hopefully we'll be able to keep it. It's, um, I think it'll clean up well. I love to keep a lot of the original features if we can. Um, oh, that tile is of such good quality that uh, it's certainly you can't replace that type of quality today. However, you did see that there was carpet in that bathroom, which as we all know is a huge no-no. So come on into this bedroom. This has the painted over wallpaper on the walls and wallpaper in the closet. But the nice thing is it still has a lot of its original details. We've got all of the original doors. They're in great condition. The moldings are in great condition. So when you come into a house like that, we want to keep all of those features and just highlight them with fresh paint and new doorknobs and make it look fresh and new. So in the hallway, uh, again, multiple layers of wallpaper and anyone who's ever taken off wallpaper knows that when you get a big strip of wallpaper off like this, it's never gonna happen again. The rest of this wallpaper will probably come off in little two inch pieces. So most likely what we'll do is just cover over it with some of that shiplap that we like to use and just save ourselves a lot of time and energy and kind of make this hallway a nice feature. The last bedroom, I think still has the original drapes. 
and also wallpaper everywhere as well as in the hall or in the closet. So in here we'll probably end up taking that wallpaper down and uh, giving people more what they expect which is just a regular painted wall. So the hardwood floors will be refinished. We'll be doing new windows, essential heat and air, the kind of thing that everybody expects from a great new home. And uh, so it'll just be another awesome flip. An older home with good quality construction brought up to today's standards with really nice features.